פרשה ברוקותיי יום חמישי ואף גם זאת בהיותם בארץ אוהביהם וגומר ואף גם זאת ועם כמעט דתה מאיך אף אני גם לרבות כנסת ישראל דקחי זאת ולשב כאן לא נעלמין בהיותם בארץ אוהביהם בהיותם קולה כך אדם לא מעשי ולא גאלתי מגין דלה התחבר בהוא ולהפר ברית איתם ואיתלה אפחוק להוא אבי ריתי פליג פין כך להפר ברית איתם ולזויתן ואף גם זאת even this her so it says it's uh, redundant but we have to to separate the words and say that אף is a kadosh ברוך הוא גם is כנסת ישראל זאת is a שכינה so which means that גם זאת says that the the שכינה with כנסת ישראל went together in exile And uh, we understand that Zot, which is the uh, Shekhinah, does not abandon B'nai Yisrael. That's why it is written, Gam Zot, also this, together. <coughs> And uh, it is written, I will not do, that's Hashem talking, anything that would make me disgusted by them. Because if I do that, then I won't have any more my berit, my alliance with them. And uh, since this is not possible, right, uh, we'll see why. So Rabbi Chia, and Hashemana Mila Chata de Amar Rabbi Raza, and Mea Sivero Gehatim Lechalotam, Lo Yikitim Velo Yagatim Lechotam Yibayali, Ila Lo Mea Sivero Gehatim, Mande Dastin Lecharat Meis, Maiz Hu Likabli, קהלה ובגאולה קמי, אבל לך לא מאסים ולא געתי עם הטעמה וגין די חביבותה, ונפשא ונהו וגינה כולהו חביבים גבי. אז הוא נכתיב לקלותם, לקלותם כתיב חסר ו'. וגינה דא מאסים ולא געתי וגין די הוא לחימה, ונפשא לחימה תדלי לגבי. חבי חייא סז I heard another explanation from Rabbi El-Azhar. I didn't not, they did not discuss me. It says the, the wording is, uh, is a bit uh, confusing. It says it is like someone that hates someone else. So if that other person comes close to him, he feels like disgusted. He doesn't want to be there. He wants to move somewhere, somewhere else. But, uh, But Hashem says, they did not, like, no me asim, they did not disgust me. He says, why? Because since there's a presence of the Shekhinah with Bene Israel, and, and what he says, lo lekalotam, lekalotam, we should understand, I did not want to destroy them. But lekalotam, the, the, it's not written with a vav, so we can read it, lekalatam. Lekalatam means the bright. And the bride is the uh, the Shekhinah, right? the divine presence, the feminine divine presence. So, like, because of her, the divine presence being with B'nai Israel, they did not discuss me and I did not want to destroy them. כיוון דאיתמן דמיינו בשוקה דלא חלה דכל דכי נראה ונתיב ושתקחו כמן ואופרה ואף גם זאת ויותם בארץ אוהביהן דאירו שוקה דבור סעקה לא מאסי ולא גאלתים לכל אותם וגין קידתם דנה לכי מנה לאי היא דכי מנה לנפשי דשריה ודמין עלי כיכול לכי דבן עלמן דגין נאי קלה ודגבה יהוא אמר רבי יוסי אילו לא אתנה אחה אלא נשמע מילה דא די דיר סימלר To a man that is in love, a woman that, that lives in a, in a shuk, in a street where they're selling all type of, uh, of uh, leathers, all type of skins of animals. And the smell is very bad. But since this man loves this woman, so if, if he goes there, it's because she's there. And when he's there, even if the, the scents are disgusting, he doesn't mind them because he wants to be with her. So Hashem says the same thing about Bnei Yisrael, even if they are in places when, where he doesn't want to be, 
But since the the Shekhinah is with Bene Israel in those places, so he, he, he supports it. And Rabbi Yose says, if I had come to this world just to hear this nice saying, that would have been enough. But Rabbi Yosef says, The son gives honor to his father and the servant to his master. The son gives to, to honor to his mother and his, his, uh, to his father and his mother, as it is written. And this means that he has to give him to eat and to drink. But if the father dies, does the son still have to do all this honor? So it says yes. Because what the son does here will be good for the neshama, for the soul of his father or his mother. And it will help them to get a place of rest, which is in a, in a higher. I mean, the, the, the soul keeps on ascending and ascending. And all the mitzvot and the good deeds that the, the son does in this world it helps them to reach this higher level. And the son, if he's going in the wrong path, then it, it makes his father ashamed, even in that, in that world. But the opposite, if he goes on the right path and he corrects his ways, then his father is, uh, is happy with him. His father then feels good. In other words, the father feels what the son is doing in this world. Because the, when he does good, then he adds to the kavod, the honor of his father. And Hashem takes this into account to give him a better place in the uh, higher realm. We can see that with Abi Razar, which was the son of Rabbi Shaman Bar Yochai. How much kavod he gave to his father. Kavod to not only in this world, but also to the world to come. He would by give him honor by also spreading his teaching. And because of that, Abi Razar merited to have also some, uh, some uh, sons of a higher level, Sadikim. He's happy a lot of these people that have this merit to have uh, sons like this that are at Sadiqim. And uh, because when they are Sadiq, their acts are positive. And the acts they will do after for their fathers are also positive. And each one gives the honor. So the son gives honor to his father. Then he brings a good son that will give honor to, to, to them. And all this helps to elevate, to elevate all the souls of the Nishamot so they should reach a good resting place. Amen.